Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mike McCurdy. I love to talk about restaurants in and around the Houston area. We're actually spreading out a little bit now. We're going to different parts of Texas and we'll have some uh, surprises for you soon in our next upcoming videos. But for now, we're gonna stay grounded right here in Houston and we are gonna head up to the Citizens Grill. So if you haven't been to the Citizens Grill, well, you might wanna hang around for this video because let me tell you, dang, that's good. Today I'm here with the owner of the Citizens Grill. I'm going to have Nick Rom over here as well. And we're going to just kind of give us a little bit of the history on this restaurant. How you got started in the business? What well, really uh, the, opened our uh, first restaurant back in 2009. Kind of it was a recession at the time. People said you're crazy for opening a restaurant. And it was actually a sports bar at the time, Tailgaters Pub and Grill. And uh, over the years it's uh, become very, very successful. Uh, we make good food for a reasonable price. and. I think as all our customers and us grew up, we said, man, we need a, a, a little nicer place, a, a step up, you know, where we have uh, 25 wines by the glass, 40 craft beers on tap, and uh, so the idea for Citizens Grill was born. And uh, really, we take uh, Americana classics and uh, just turn them into uh, food that is absolutely delicious. Yep. And uh, that's uh, for a reasonable price, you know? Not, yeah. to, not try to be the high, high-end places that you can only afford to go to once a year. Well, I know you guys have a great location. So, I mean, up here in the woodlands, pretty much. And I know it's, you have a, the layout here is really unique and how you have this, your restaurant laid out. I saw the giant porch in the back. That's fantastic. Yeah, when we built Citizens Grill, the uh, the big thing for us was to to try and make it for everyone. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, there's a main dining room, family friendly, you know, private dining rooms for some events, but also a huge patio where we uh, get uh, customers that come in and, and uh, can enjoy being outside dining, yeah. in other words. Uh, but it's a patio that seats over 100. So we're able to, when people come in and say, hey, I want the patio, it's not just three or four tables on the patio. Yeah. There's a, a lot of tables. And so we've done even a lot of events on the patio where we, we have uh, wedding receptions and rehearsal dinners yeah. and things where they're able to come out there and enjoy. And there's a courtyard by the patio, so a very family-friendly environment again where the kids can run around a little bit at the dinner hour. You know, while the parents can, you know, maybe enjoy their glass yeah. of wine without the kids going, are you know, are you done yet? Do right, we have right. to go home? So and it turns out. And pet friendly too. And it definitely has a pet friendly area. So we're here at the Citizens Grill and I'm with uh, one of the regulars here and he's got something you're eating here a little different. What, what, what do you got on the plate here? I got the uh, blackened shrimp tacos actually and the side of uh, peppered green beans. Nice. So, so I take it you've had this before. I have. Good stuff, huh? Absolutely. What's, what, what's your big draw to coming back? Uh, big draw is uh, good people, great quality food at a fair price. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And I see you got us a bunch of dishes here to sample today. So I guess can, can you give us a kind of tell us what, what you got on the plate Absolutely. here? Absolutely. We have some of our uh, classic dishes here that customers love, as well as a few new ones for the summer. Yeah. But uh, we have our uh, smoked scallops on wild mushroom risotto. It's been a super popular dish for us. So. Yeah, I'm a sucker for scallops. So when he's talking about smoked scallops, I'm like, okay. We have our spinach artichoke dip, uh, right. super popular. I, I, I need a spoon here to spoon it out, but super cheesy. It's made with a Gouda cheese, which I think is like a secret weapon. Right. Uh, when people eat it, they're just like, what is in here that's so good? It's and, one uh, of my favorite spinach and artichoke dips so. on the north side. We've, I was going to say, since I've been here, you know, Nick Nick has been walking around kind of showing me the area, and he's been talking about this spinach dip, so we're going to definitely have to try that out in a minute, yeah. Let's try it. Um, also have our, uh, one of our new items, a beef carrasio, the, uh, no. in other words, it's just a light summer dish. Sometimes people don't want to come in and have the heavier dishes, something a little lighter for summer that you can have. We also have our uh, filet Oscar over here, oh, which oh, is, so a, you know, it's a beef tenderloin, you know served over the uh, asparagus there. Again, very, very, not as heavy as some of our uh, signature steak dishes. So, and uh, we have our six layer chocolate cake. We have our uh, four layer 
uh, carrot cake, and uh, both of these are, you know, baked in-house fresh, assembled. Uh, the chocolate cake is award-winning here in the Woodlands area nice. and has been uh, super popular with customers. Wow, this may be a dang so. that's good before we start eating because <laughs> everything here is so, I mean, the smells coming off this table are phenomenal. And the cake, I saw them making the cake earlier and I'm like, okay, we got to try that. When you make fresh food from quality fresh ingredients, customers can tell the difference and they come back uh, again and again. And it's, it's just such a different environment than some of the franchisee chain things that yep. are going on today, you know, where it's very standardized out of a bag, out of a this or that. Well, they really care because they have a full-time pastry chef, Miranda. Uh, yeah, no, Chef Miranda, she does a fabulous job for us. And uh, and again, that's the, the kind of honor we get here in the Woodlands to win best dessert in the yeah. recent uh, <laughs> recent event because it it's, you know, and I, I I can't describe it. It's it's something you have to try, and the camera will never, you know, tell it. But yeah. you have to come try a bite because it's the ganache she uses. It's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not over. You know, it's it's like you eat a bite, and so many desserts you eat a bite or two, and they're too sweet, or you're kind of like yeah. done after the yeah. first two bites. This cake you will finish, and really? that's the difference because you're like it's so good, but it doesn't overpower you with the mm -hmm. sweetness. So, and I think that's what the customers have detected, a dessert that they can actually eat, enjoy. And enjoy and it, And doesn't yeah. feel like they're gonna become comatose from the so, sugar. Well, I've been hearing a lot about this place. I know Nick has really been talking it up to me, so I'm really excited to kind of dive in some of these dishes. And you can see um, everything here is made fresh, just from some of the footage we're showing you here, as well as uh, the location here is fantastic. So if you want a great family-friendly restaurant, but you want to sneak away as an adult every now and then, this sounds like the place to come. So the big thing about when you pour draft beer is so many people want it in a frozen glass or a warm glass, but what you really want your beer poured in is a glass that's the exact temperature of the beer that's about to go into it. You saw when we poured the beer how it had a perfect head on it. Yeah. Well, that head will still be there five minutes from now, 10 minutes from now, wow. because the CO2 didn't explode out of the beer. Right. When right. you pour it into a frozen glass or a hot glass, the CO2 leaves. You'll see a lot of foamy beer, things like that. By the time your beer gets to the table, a lot of times it's, it's flat or it's right, getting to yeah. be flat. And people just think that's what beer tastes like. So in here, what you see, one of the things is, how do we get the water to be the exact temperature of the beer that's about to go into it? Right. And if you look in our beer cooler, there's a big copper pipe all the way around the top. Oh, well, I see it, yeah. Okay. So we talked to, when we built the place, we were talking to our plumber and said, hey, we need a water tank to make the water the same temperature as the beer. And he came up with the idea of giving us a nice fancy copper pipe, which is nothing more than a big water tank but he said that water coming out into those pores will be the exact temperature as the beer. As the beer. And Chilled that's beer, yeah. the secret to having a perfectly poured beer. So I heard you got some drinks for us today. So what you making for us? I have a blackberry whiskey smash, which is gonna be like a really refreshing whiskey take on a mojito. And so I'm gonna start with whiskey. Yep, I said you had me a whiskey. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little bit of lime juice. Lick. A couple lime wedges in there. Nick's getting in his uh, Nick's Local Eats drink. <laughs> I'm gonna take some blackberries and a little mint. Let me see here, a few mint leaves. And I'm gonna go ahead and muddle that up. And I'm gonna do a touch of simple syrup in there just for the nice sweetness. I'm gonna shake that up. Alrighty, and then in traditional mojito style, I'm going to add a little club soda to the top of that. Give us some bubbly. Yes. Alrighty. There we go. There we go. Well, this is Nick's favorite. I know he's been talking about Randy. this. <laughs> Look at that. That looks good. Mm. That's the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been mm. been waiting for this for a while. Yeah. St it's, what, the top top ten? Oh yeah, top ten. And this is probably my favorite spinach dip anywhere. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's, that is it's a weird. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the Italian ham. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm tasting. Uh, 
Uh, what, what is that? Um, horseradish. horseradish. Yeah. That is smooth. That's really, really good. I almost got a cut on in half. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker when it comes to scallops, so that's pretty much any time I go see I'm food. a sucker for mushroom risotto. Oh, yeah, so, so there you go. Combination. That looks great. I mean, look at that. Mm hmm. Delicate. Mm. Yeah. Get some of that mushroom in there. How's that? See that? Here we go. <laughs> mm hmm. That's really good. I hear, I'm tasting the mushrooms. Mm hmm. And the smokiness. Yeah, very, very good. Now for this bad boy. This is what I've been waiting on. I made sure I'm gonna cut off the table. You know. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting on since I saw them creating this in the back. I was like, okay, I gotta try this. So with the meat and the lump crab meat on top, this is gonna be a winning combo. I can tell already. Oh, that's good. That's my award-winning dish. You know, Nick's got his number one dish. This is mine now. That's good. The the uh, the crab, the crab meat with the meat. Great combination. Highly recommend this. We are here with um, chef, uh, pastry chef Miranda Loveless. There is a difference. Yes, <laughs> award winning. Yes. <laughs> pastry chef for that chocolate cake and the bread pudding. Right. So Miranda, you were telling us a little bit. I was watching the back make some of these earlier. Yeah. So you, this one, uh, I, the, the, all the stuff you were doing to it was amazing, mm -hmm. and the decorations. stuff. well, tell us a little bit about uh, your chocolate cake because so, that's the award winning one. Yes, this is yeah. our award winning chocolate cake for the Taste of the Town 2021. It's just a six layer chocolate cake with my homemade chocolate um, recipe. And then we, inside of it is cocoa fudge icing. And then on the outside, it's a rich dark chocolate ganache. Wow. Yes, so then I just pair it with more ganache on top and some chocolate shavings and you can just eat it at it as is. A lot of people get it super cold or super hot. Super which hot? Is, it's, well, I heard it's not super sweet. It is, it's not super sweet yeah. either. I kind of like just to make all the desserts not overly bearing where like it hurts your teeth or anything, right. just where it's good enough so you don't need anything extra for it. Very nice, that mm -hmm. looks so good. And you got another one over here. Yes sir, so this is our brand new uh, carrot cake. We came out with it in Easter, so it's just my homemade carrot cake recipe with carrots and pecans, uh -huh. and then a sweet uh, cream cheese icing, but then we pair it with our pecan praline sauce that everyone's in love here. Wow. You put it on ice cream, bread pudding, cheesecake, carrot cake, anything, and you're sure to love with it. But this is an award winning, yes. It's not yet. Yes. yes. But, but a but lot of people come in and they rather have the carrot cake than the chocolate cake, wow. and this is the first item that they really like. This is the new infamous carrot cake. <laughs> Soon to be award winning yes. carrot cake. Carrot cake is just a carrier for cream cheese frosting to your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice way to make it healthy sounding too. Mm. It's got carrots in it. What do you think? <laughs> so, <laughs> Dang, that's good. <laughs> this is the award winning chocolate cake. So we're gonna try it out, and it's still dripping. This is a big pipe. I'm gonna try it. All six layers. Mmm. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. That is ooey, gooey, and yummy. That's one of the best chocolate cakes I've ever had. Yeah, that's like a, having a, it's like Willy Wonka had a party <laughs> and made a bunch of cake. That's really, really good. Really, really good chocolate. Um, it's smooth too. There's like several different flavors of chocolate going on in there. This is award winning for a reason. I'd highly recommend you come in and check this out too. I'm gonna take another bite. Oh. Yeah, what can I say? The menu there is off the charts good, really good. Uh, Nick really gave me some uh, good advice in going up there and meeting him. And let me tell you, the pastries and the desserts they have there, those cakes, oh my gosh, they're, they're fantastic. Probably some of the best cakes I've had, some of the best Americana food I've had in the Woodlands. So if you are in the Houston area, you probably need to drive on up to the Woodlands area to check this place out. And that back porch, oh my gosh. If you have any parties or special events, that back porch is the bomb. I mean, it's, you say the bomb still a days? You do? You, I guess the bomb is still relevant, but it's the bomb. But uh, I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my favorite places to go right now in the Woodlands, just for the atmosphere, the food. What do you think? Really?
Yeah, I, yeah, there's some other places as well, but we haven't got to those. But stick around on our YouTube channel. We're going to be showcasing more restaurants in the Woodlands, right? And we'll be showcasing those here shortly. So subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, share these videos with others. Let them know what we're doing in and around the Houston area. This is just a great way to tell us that, hey, you love these videos and you'd like to see us make more. Well, that's it for today. Uh, we got some more surprises coming up on our channel. Yep, some really cool places to visit here shortly that are outside of Houston. So, yeah, stick around. We'll see you guys soon. But for now, all I got to say is bye-bye. I got to say, carrot cake is just a carrier for cheese. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's really good. I think we need to start singing songs about this cake. <laughs> oh, fairy cake. Songs of old. <laughs> and I'm going to take my lime. Oh, you know what? I need a muddler. I'm sorry. No, you're Is that fine. Okay? Do it again. That's okay. All right.